Welcome to the Bio Whisperer channel. Our topic today is on the concept of agricultural biotechnology. We will be looking at the progress of green biotechnology also known as agricultural biotechnology as well as to understand the concepts of gene engineering to give rise to superior crops to address global food security concerns. Biotechnology is defined as a set of tools that uses living organisms or parts of organisms to make or modify a product, typically for human benefit. Agricultural biotechnology is the term used in crop and livestock improvement through biotechnology tools. It encompasses elements of conventional breeding techniques, bioinformatics, microbiology, molecular genetics, and plant physiology amongst others. Early farmers selected the best-looking plants and seeds where attributes such as pest and disease resistance, larger seeds, or sweeter fruits were preferred and seeds collected were sowed for next planting season. The domestication process produced dramatically higher yield compared to their wild-type counterparts. An example is the golden rice is a variety of rice scientifically known as a rice sativa which is produced through genetic engineering to biosynthesize beta-carotene, a precursor of vitamin A. Plant breeding came into being when farmers learned that crop plants could be artificially mated or cross-pollinated rather than reliance by insects or wind. This has dramatically increased the productivity and quality of the plants we grow for food. However, Faced with increasing population growth and decline in agricultural resources like land and water scarcity, researchers find that conventional plant breeding can no longer sustain the global demand. New methods need to be developed. Pure line and hybrid seed technology, together with mutation breeding which refers to the art of recognizing desirable traits and incorporating them into future generations is very important in plant breeding. Current hybrid seed technology uses three lines in order to produce the hybrid seed. One of the line contains a defective mitochondrial genome in the cytoplasm and a suppressed restorer gene. Another line being genetically similar to the A line but contains a normal cytoplasm and a suppressed restorer gene. The third line is the restorer line, a distinctly unrelated line which contains normal cytoplasm and an active restorer gene of dominant characteristics. Most genetically modified organisms abbreviated as GMO crops are used in food for animals like cows, chickens, and fish. They are also used to make ingredients that are then used in food products like cereal, snack chips, and vegetable oils. Based on the FDA website, GMO soybeans made up 94% of all soybeans planted, GMO cotton made up 94% of all cotton planted, and 92% of corn planted was GMO corn. Cross-breeding, selective breeding, and mutation breeding are examples of traditional ways that humans have used traditional ways to modify crops and animals to suit their needs which include higher crop yields, longer storage life, improved nutrition amongst other desirable traits. In fact, scientists can now use genetic engineering to take just a beneficial gene, like insect resistance or drought tolerance, and transfer the desirable trait into a plant or crop. As with the development of any new technology there are concerns about associated risks, and agricultural biotechnology is no exception. All crops developed using genetic engineering are subjected to extensive safety testing before being released for commercial use. Extensive risk assessment and safety testing of crops developed through the use of genetic engineering has shown that there are no varieties in use that pose risks to consumers. Benefits offered by biotechnology will not be fulfilled without a continued commitment to basic research. Extensive laboratory and field research will be necessary to develop specific applications to transform agriculture and food production by increasing efficiency and productivity, thus lowering costs and improving competitiveness. Already transgenic crops expressing multiple traits have been commercialized, such as cotton and corn that have both pesticidal properties and herbicide tolerance. 
environmental considerations are equally important towards assessment of the potential values and possible risks involved in introducing genetically altered versions into the field. Data on pathogenicity, mutagenicity, the ability to transfer genes, and other relevant factors can help predict the organism's effects on the ecosystem. Public confidence in biotechnology will require that socioeconomic impacts are evaluated along with environmental risks and that people representing diverse values have an opportunity to participate in judgments about the impact of the technology. This is where having a sound education campaign for awareness would help to increase the acceptability. According to a report from the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, the two big drivers of food demand namely population and income are on the rise. The world's population is expected to reach 9.1 billion people in 2050. What this means is that farmers globally must increase food production 70% compared to 2007 levels to meet the needs of the larger population. In Agriculture 4.0, we can anticipate that future agriculture will use sophisticated technologies such as robots, temperature and moisture sensors, aerial images, and GPS technology. Farm consolidation will drive the need for more outside labor. Expect high-tech solutions like robotics to come to the rescue. These advanced devices and precision agriculture and robotic systems will allow farms to be more profitable, efficient, safe, and environmentally friendly. Going forward, we might also expect a different trend to emerge within highly developed countries with more health-conscious populations. The focus on starch-based crops like corn will shift to more. Plant-based proteins like soybeans and other legumes amongst others. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please smash the like button and subscribe to this channel for future updates.